Oh, this is the moment that ended my whole career in weightlifting. And it was gutting. But I got over it. You get over it, though. You get over it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that moustache. Back when I could only grow a moustache. Okay. It's David here. I'm about to show you a very special video. It's something that happened over the weekend. I also do weightlifting, and I don't think I'll be doing it for a while because of this happened. This is my ankle going pop when trying to lift 182 kilos. Tip for you guys, if you're in weightlifting, don't pop your ankle. It's not fun. Yeah, it ends your whole career, mate. Day. And ends your whole career, mate. <laughs> Go, mate. See you later. And I still stood out of it. Yep, that's in 30 seconds. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye, whole career. So what happened there, right? So let's 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 break this down. So right here, right here, you'll see it. So the problem, the problem there as well is that I'm, I'm very, I was very, very flexible in the bottom position. So my ass could get a lot lower in the squat than, um, than my ankle was ready for. So if you watch it, because with what, with weightlifting, the, I, the idea with weightlifting is you're meant to get the bar up to your hips and then the rest of it is playing limbo to get underneath the bar and get your elbows underneath. So what I'm thinking, my thought process was one, two, three, bang. That was always what I tried to, how I tried to live. It was like one, two, three. So I count, then I know I'm going to get like the full extension and the pull. And then when I say bang, then it's just a race to like locking it and getting those elbows up and stomping my feet. But when it's really heavy, you can't stomp your feet because it's, you can't get underneath fast enough. So like when I got really heavy, sometimes I would just slip under the bar instead. So it wouldn't be that, um, it wouldn't be that uh, snappy. And so, I mean, it was fucking snappy if you... <laughs> um, and so what happened was my body wanted to get lower, but my foot stayed in the same place. And so to compensate, my my knee moved to the right to try fit underneath. See that? See that? See, my, my, my ankle was touching the ground, right? Which is not supposed to be good. Not when your leg is faced up like there, right? So that's that's what happened there. But because of the adrenaline, because the adrenaline it takes to lift this kind of weight, I didn't feel it at all. And because I didn't really feel it all go snap, I went, nah, I can refix this. And see, now you're going to see me just refix it. Because all I had to do, because I had enough strength in my legs to just push my knee back into place. See? <laughs> insane that's insane that i did that look at that at this point the doctor told me i had snapped every ligament in my ankle i snapped every single ligament in my ankle and all the bones are kind of held together with ligaments kind of like rubber bands and so what had happened was it had pushed it so hard all of the rubber bands around my ankle had snapped and so what was happening was all of my bones were just like over the next couple of hours until I got the surgery, which was to bolt my ankles into place. Um, all of my bones would just slowly drift apart. And so they had to do that. And because it's a ligament damage, a ligament isn't like bone. It doesn't heal back stronger. So it was always going to be um, a little bit weaker than it, always, than it was. And so I've still got the screws in my, uh, in my ankles. I think what hurt the most was that I put like six years of my life into this and like my main goal was to become a like to go to the Commonwealth Games and this was like this was the lift my coach was telling me this was the lift that if I got it it would be enough proof to like uh Olympic weightlifting New Zealand that maybe I would should have a good chance to qualify like go to try qualify for the games um but obviously didn't happen <laughs> See that still stood up, so still still standing up, like the foot the foot still working there, right? But the problem is in the jerk, and I think it's also I think this is also mental. 
like like looking at it as well this was definitely a lot of mental stuff like i knew something had gone wrong and i think that had also switched my brain off and so by this point there was already doubt in my head i was like i don't know if i'm going to get this and the moment that happens you're not getting left you see everything hit the right place everything hit the right place my head could have been forward a little bit more to really lock that into place but look it's like using all, uh, my foot's in front mm, maybe my front foot could have been a bit more forward but like everything's in the right place pretty much you can see it's already going to lean yeah. but if i had if i had more stability in this foot right here because this was normal for me me running around the platform was like so normal i used to run like the whole the whole platform just to secure myself because it's a lift if you manage to stand still for three seconds but because of this movement and because it was so heavy and because i was already out of it i was like nah see you later mate and see i'm still managed to drop it like nicely yeah. see that would that would have been a good lift if i recovered that because the only thing that would have disqualified me was if my arms didn't lock out properly i locked my arms out like that if you ended it there Maybe, nah, because you see a bit of a lean, like, here. But if you, like, em emptied it there, you'd have been like, yeah, he, he would have got that. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, that, that, and then that ended, yeah, that, that, that ended my whole career.